Natsumi Kishikawa. Today, I will talk about how sweet imports and links external framework or libraries. By explaining it, I will show you how to solve the various link problems. How do you use libraries of frameworks in Swift project? Just drag the framework to the embedded minus section. That's it. Is it true? No. Some frameworks can be used within the same operation. Aside problems with linking are related to various factors. To solve the problems, it is necessary to understand what is happening while linking. External modules available for iOS and macOS are library and framework. There is a different difference. There is a difference between linking and dynamically or linking statically. The difference between static linking and dynamic link is whether the library is linked at build time or linked at run time. Also, static linking combines object code with another executable library. The difference between frameworks and libraries is whether they have boundaries. A framework has boundaries. A library does not have boundaries. Boundary is directly structure that can be can organize resources used by framework. So far, the difference between the libraries and frame frameworks have been explained in two aspects: dynamic or static, or boundary without boundary. From now on. I will explain what is happening while Swift link the framework. There are two processes for making external frameworks available to Swift project. First, let's talk about the mechanism of import. What do we need to import the library in the Swift project? It is module. Modules are defined as module map. Module map com converts C header to modules. Frameworks have bundle. A bundle can contain modules. Most frameworks contain modules by default. <coughs> Some frameworks don't have modules. The failing example mentioned before is because of the framework does not contain any modules. Any library doesn't modules, doesn't have modules, because libraries do not have bundle. I'm not me importing library of frameworks. If the framework has modules, Set parent directory of the framework to framework third part. That it. This is the easiest pattern of importing framework. If the framework doesn't have modules, you have two options: either to use bridging header or module maps. But bridging header can only be used in apps. If you try to import the framework into your framework, you should use the module map. Using bridging header is pretty straightforward. Just create a header file named bridging, project name bridging header.h. Then import a header of the framework that you want to use. Set the path of the bridging header to object bridging header various settings. Now you can import the framework into your app. But I recommend to always use module map even in apps. Because of bridging header imports module into the app globally, the frameworks listed on the bridging header can be imported everywhere in the app. So next, module map. Create file name module.modulemap anywhere on the file system. List the headers on the framework you want to import. To allow Swift to find the module map, Set the module map's parent directory to import path build settings. Now you can import the framework into your project. What about the library? All the same in the framework with that modules. You have also two options. I recommend using module map too. If you have library as shown on the slide, the bridge header looks like this, or module map looks like this. Up next, anatomy of linking. In the process of link framework or libraries, the important thing is the difference between dynamic or static. For the static framework, just the third pass and just set the third pass and link a flag. The static framework is linked at build time, so these settings are needed for the static linker to discover the framework. 
If the framework is a dynamic framework, it should be copied to the app bundle. Because dynamic framework leaks at runtime, the dynamic leaker must be able to find the framework at the runtime. To copy the framework into the app bundle, add the copy file section in the build phases. Then set the framework to the link flags. In the case of libraries, they are almost the same. The difference is, is that it uses library search pass instead of the framework search pass and hyphen L option instead of hyphen framework link flags. Like this. You might see error shown on the slide. Could not be the Objective-C module indicates something wrong in the module map. <coughs> Usually, the problem is that the error files on the module map can't be found. So correct the module map or make sure the header search pass is correct. Header search pass referred from the header file listed in the module map should be listed in the header search pass. Recap. I figured out the process of making external libraries available in the suite project. Hopefully, this helps you to troubleshoot when you would be facing the problem and about linking libraries. That's pretty much for me. Thanks for listening.